Good day and welcome to Big Bad Tech. I'm instructor Jim Pytel, and today we'll learn to install and program an example motor drive, in this case, an Omron 3G 3JX AE004 for direct operation. Our objective is to learn to install, reset the Omron 3G 3JX AE004 motor drive to factory defaults, and program it for direct operation. This lecture is predicated on the assumption that viewers watch both the introduction of motor drives and example motor drive Omron 3G 3JX AE004 lectures, both available at the Big Bad Tech channel. If you haven't watched these lectures yet or only dimly recall their contents, please take the time to do so now. Additionally, since we're dealing with this particular manufacturer's parameter programming process and navigation within it, it may help to download the associated datasheet and or user manual. First, we need to install the Omron 3G 3JX AE004 motor drive. As indicated in the standard connection diagram, we need to include a circuit breaker as a disconnection means between it and the power supply. The T1, T2, and T3 output of the circuit breaker go into the L1, L2, and L3 primary inputs of the motor drive. The black, red, and blue wires serve this purpose. Additionally note the motor drive has been grounded using the green wire. Note the T1, T2, and T3 primary output of the motor drive go into the L1, L2, and L3 primary inputs of the motor. The black, red, and blue wires serve this purpose. For direct manual operation, this is really all we need to do right now. When we power on the device, note the display lights up, as do several indicator LEDs. Assuming we're powering the motor drive up from factory default conditions with no errors, you should notice the following. The data display is displaying the output frequency monitor. As can be expected, we're observing zero hertz. Note the hertz LED is lit up to accompany the numerical data displayed on the data display with the appropriate units of frequency. Note the amp unit LED is dark. The power LED is lit up, indicating that the motor drive is powered up. The alarm LED is dark, indicating the motor drive is not experiencing an error. If there was an error, an associated error code would be displayed on the data display. An example would be error E014. Error E014, according to the user's manual, means a ground fault trip. This is a non-resettable error that requires a technician shutting off the power and checking the wiring. The run LED is dark, indicating that the motor drive is not actively accelerating, running, or decelerating a motor. The program LED is dark, indicating the parameters of the motor drive are not being actively programmed or changed. All seems well. Let's program this drive for direct manual operation. Navigation within a particular manufacturer's decision tree takes some knowledge and practice, and even the most experienced and talented of technicians often require the assistance of a cheat sheet. Consider the parameter transition flowchart for the Omron 3G 3JX AE004. Are you going to remember this? No. No, you are not. This being said, it's in the manual and you can look it up if you need to. By the way, if you've got a copy of the manual available, you should probably pull it out now since I'm going to offer you opportunities to navigate to different parameters. Like I said earlier, navigation takes practice and what better practice than for me to blindfold you, stuff you in the trunk of my car, drive way out in the woods, drop you off and tell you to find your way home. This particular drive has a huge list of parameters listed in the manual, which I divide into several different classes, namely monitor or display functions preceded by a D, basic functions preceded by an F, extended functions preceded by an A, protection and initialization functions preceded by a B, communication functions preceded by a C, and motor settings preceded by an H. One could use the tangled web of the parameter transition flowchart or navigate by brute force by using the increment and decrement keys through this boundless sea of parameters. However, neither of these seem attractive options. Luckily, this manufacturer offers a means of quick parameter selection, which I'll detail in a moment. Given the initial start state, one can press mode to see what parameter is actively being displayed. As can be expected, we're displaying D001. The output frequency monitor as indicated in the parameter list in the user's manual. If you want to navigate to the fin temperature monitor, D018, press the increment key until the display reads D018 and then press mode again to display the current temperature reading. 
Neat, huh? Not only is this an inexpensive motor drive, it's a really expensive thermometer. Press the mode key again to return to the parameters list. All right, here's your first challenge. Use the parameters list in the user's manual to find the monitor or display function that monitors the voltage of the DC link. Hint, it's not too far away and you could probably use the brute force method to navigate using the increment and decrement keys. To navigate to parameter entries further than a dozen or so clicks away, luckily this manufacturer offers a means of quick parameter selection. To quickly navigate to a distant parameter, press both increment and decrement keys simultaneously. The first digit will blink, and then an operator can increment or decrement the first digit as desired, and thus press enter. This moves you to a second digit, and so on. Once all four digits are entered, you are magically transported to the desired entry, skipping all the toil and heartache customarily associated with this journey. Let's use the quick parameter selection method to navigate to the initialization and protection parameter B084. Those following along in the user manual note that this entry correlates to probably the most important parameter in the whole user's manual, notably the ability to clear any previous errors and reset this drive to factory default conditions. On the odd chance someone, i.e. your lazy lab partner, has totally dorked up your motor drive, the B084 parameter will allow you to forget this chapter of your life and begin anew. Never forget how to reset a motor drive to its factory default condition. You never know what is being handed to you. The factory default at least allows you a known starting condition.